Let's look at composite functions. So these are functions within another function. And the notation is the following. Both of these are read as f of g of x, where f and g are two different functions. Now let's look at some examples. So it says let f of x, g of x, f inverse of x and h of x equal to these functions. And we're now going to work out the following composite functions. Now the first one is h of f of x. And so when trying to work out composite functions, we first look at the function that is closest to the brackets. And so in this case, that would be f. We then insert that into the outer function h, and then we can work out our composite function. We could rewrite this as h and then in brackets f of x. And so the idea is that if we look at h of x, the input here x has now been replaced with f of x. And so we work this out in the following way. We know h of x is equal to 3x. And we also know that h of f of x is equal to 3 times f of x, where all we've done is replace the input x with f of x. Now, since f of x is equal to 2x minus 1, we can now rewrite this as 3 times, in brackets, 2x minus 1. And if we expand this out, we then get 3 times 2x, which is 6x, and 3 times minus 1, which is minus 3. And so therefore, h of f of x is equal to 6x minus 3. Let's work out the second example, which is f of h of x. And notice how the order has now been changed. So this time we can rewrite this as f and then inside brackets h of x. And so we can see that we're going to take h of x and insert it into f of x. And so starting with f of x we have that f of x equals to 2x minus 1. And now inserting h of x instead of x we would have f of h of x which equals to 2 and then multiplied by h of x and then minus 1. And since we know that h of x is equal to 3x, we can now substitute this in to give us 2 times 3x in brackets minus 1. And so 2 times 3x is equal to 6x and then minus 1 on the end. And so notice how h of f of x and f of h of x are the same functions in a different order, but they give us different results. And this is often the case with composite functions when we change the order of the functions. Now let's look at g of h of x. So again, this can be written as g and then inserting h of x inside. And so we're going to start with g of x, which we know is equal to x squared plus 3x. And then we're going to replace the x's with h of x. And so rewriting this, we have g of h of x, which equals to, and so again, instead of x, we're now going to replace this with h of x, and we can see that the first term is squared, so we also need to square h of x. And then we have plus 3, and then times by h of x, since again, we're replacing the x with the input h of x here. And so we know that h of x is equal to 3x, and so substituting this in, we get 3x all squared plus 3 times 3x in brackets. And so if we multiply this out, 3x all squared is equal to 9x squared, and 3 times 3x is equal to 9x. Now let's look at f of f of x. So this can be written as f and then inserting in f of x inside. And so working this out, we'll first start with f of x, which equals to 2x minus 1. And now we're going to replace the x with f of x again. And so we get f of f of x, which equals to 2 times f of x minus 1, since we replace the x with f of x here. And since we know that f of x is equal to 2x minus 1, we can now substitute this in to give us 2 times, in brackets, 2x minus 1, and then we have minus 1 on the outside. Now multiplying this out, this gives us 2 times 2x, which is 4x, and then 2 times minus 1, which is minus 2, and then we also have the minus 1 on the end. And so collecting like terms, this becomes 4x minus 3. Now let's look at f of f inverse of x. So this can be thought of as f of 
f inverse of x now being the input. And so we're now going to start with f of x, which is 2x minus 1. And now we're going to replace x with f inverse of x now. So this is now written as f of f inverse of x, which equals to 2 times f inverse of x minus 1. Now f inverse of x is equal to x plus 1 all over 2, and so we can now substitute that in to give us 2 times, in brackets, x plus 1 all over 2, and then we have the minus 1 on the outside. Now if we multiply this out, we can see that we're multiplying by 2 and dividing by 2, so these cancel, and so we're left with x plus 1 minus 1, and so x plus 1 minus 1 simplifies to x. And so notice how when you take a function and its inverse and you compose them together, you end up with the original input here, which is x. And if we were to change the order of this, we would still get the same result. Final example is to work out f of g of h of x. So this is three functions composed all together. So again, we'll start with the innermost function, which is h, since it's closest to the brackets. Substitute that into g of x. Once we've worked that out, then substitute that result into f of x. Let's start with g of x. We have that g of x equals to x squared plus 3x. And now we're going to replace the x with h of x to give us g of h of x, which equals to h of x all squared plus 3 times h of x. We've worked this out before in the third example here. Our result was 9x squared plus 9x. And so this equals to 9x squared plus 9x. Now going to take all of this and then substitute it into f of x. So if we start with f of x, we have that f of x equals to 2x minus 1. And now we can substitute this result in to give us f of g of h of x. So we can write that in brackets. And this would be equal to 2 times g of h of x minus 1. Since we know g of h of x is equal to 9x squared plus 9x, we can now substitute this in to give us 2 times in brackets 9x squared plus 9x and then closing the brackets we have the minus 1. We now expand this out, we get that 2 times 9x squared is 18x squared and then 2 times 9x is 18x and then we have the minus 1 on the end. This is equal to f of g of h of x. That is how you work out composite functions.